what is going on guys so today we're going to be doing a different style of video now this is going to be the top 10 free Cydia tweaks for iPhone iPod touch and also iPad now this video is a collaboration with my good friend Kyle from Kyle's tech so basically what's going down is I'm going to be giving you my favorite free Cydia tweaks for the iPhone and iPod touch and then I'm going to go ahead and turn around to him to give you five free cool Cydia tweaks for the iPad so we're briefly going to be covering these city tweaks. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but just kind of give you the basics of what they do. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, we're going to start off with NC colors now. So if I simply pull down my notification center right here, we do see that we have a pretty cool notification center color background, everything, and it's kind of blurred out too. So here's the red one and I think it looks pretty dope. So whenever, of course, this whole thing's going to be red, and then in the back, like you see there, it is kind of blurred out. You can still see your icons. So it gives it a new type of effect to your notification center. It looks pretty dope. I like it. And also, if we go into our options in our settings, we do have different options to set for this tweak. Now here in NC Colors, we have the option to enable it, of course. You have to enable that in order for it to work. And we also have the option to blur it out. So if you want that blur effect in the background, you can do so. And then we have the RGB little sliders there. Of course, it's going to stand for red, green, and blue. So if you slide these over, make your own little color combination here. Here is a green one right here, which is pretty cool. That's actually my favorite color, by the way. And then blue, we kind of mix a little bit of green or a lot of green and some blue. We get that teal looking color. And then now let's just do blue. Kind of looks purplish, but I don't know. <laughs> it looked purple to me. Anyways, that's blue and green and red little sliders right there so again that is NC colors go ahead and check it out now next we're gonna be taking a look at Zeppelin now Zeppelin is pretty dope what you can actually do with this if you haven't heard about it yet is you can change your carrier logo so you see here I have my Apple logo right there and if we go into our settings menu and go down to Zeppelin we do have the option to select variety of different icons here so these are the ones that come packaged with the download of Zeppelin from Cydia. You can actually go back into Cydia and download many other icons. It's pretty cool. So go ahead and check it out. It's called Zeppelin once again. Now we're going to be taking a look at NC settings. Now NC settings stands for notification center settings. So this is sort of like SB settings. Now I like NC settings better because it looks a lot more neat in your notification center. It doesn't take too much space and it's simple. And like I said, it's neat. And you see here, we have the option to turn up the volume, turn it down. You can turn off your Wi-Fi. You have different set of toggles. You got your brightness right here. And then also we have uh, the option to respring, reboot, or power off, which is pretty cool. So all of this is done through Notification Center. If you do go into your settings menu, we have some settings to change with NC settings. You can set the toggles in whatever order you want. Also, when we go back, we have a theme selection here. We have a default theme and blue theme. So basically the icons will turn blue if they're turned on and then they'll be grayed out if they are turned off as you see here. So it gives it a cool little effect and I always leave it on default. I kind of like the white one better. And then we have the volume option here and also the vibrate toggle text. And we have the option to set toggles per page. So when it's in portrait, it'll have four of the toggles displayed and when it's in landscape it will have six toggles displayed so that's going to be all the options you can change on there now let's take a look at another tweak and this one is called unfold now unfold is really simple and what it does is instead of sliding your little slider down there you actually slide the whole screen so it gives it this unfold effect which it looks pretty cool and if we go into our settings app we can actually change some more settings in here so we can go ahead and select fold vertically. So that means you actually, instead of sliding left and right, you slide just up and it gives you that unfold effect again. Now you can select how many slices there is as well. So if you, you can select up to 10 actually. And then once you're done, just go ahead and check it out. And as you see here, you have a variety of slices and it makes a whole different fold. Now we do have the unlock text, so you can actually select whatever you want to say on your um, slide to unlock. So I put slide me and put like little crazy emojis on there. So I think that is pretty cool. Go ahead and check it out, guys. Again, it's called unfold and it's free as well. Now for my final free Cydia tweak, 
this one has to be password pilot now password pilot is very helpful very useful and what simply this does is instead of having to type in your app store password and everything I know that gets very annoying at times and when you have to purchase something or you want to purchase something an app or something you have to go ahead and type in your password some may have a really long password some may have a short one but I find this really useful because what it does it saves your password into password pilot and whenever you go ahead and try to purchase an app then it will simply configure your password and place it in there by itself and you just go ahead and hit OK so it saves some time instead of having to type in your password and everything so password pilot saves your password into your phone and it automatically pops it up once it needs it and I, I, it's real secure guys so don't worry about people stealing your password and everything so go ahead and check it out again that is going to be free so that's actually my five favorite city tweaks for the iPhone and iPod touch so again guys go ahead and check these out and now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it to Kyle to tell you what his top five favorite tweaks are on the iPad so go ahead and take it away Kyle What's up, JB Tech 17 viewers? I'm here from Kyle's Tech, and I'm going to show you some cool tweaks. Uh, the first one is called Pinch to Unlock, so let's get straight into it. All right, the first tweak we're going to be talking about is Pinch to Unlock. Basically, what you do is you pinch to unlock, just how it says, boom, just like that, and you pinch to unlock. Very simple, very easy. Once again, Pinch to Unlock. It's a very simple tweak, but some of the simplest ones are the best, so I did want to put that into the video. One thing I really like about this tweak is it does not take the feature to slide to unlock out. It's just you choose what you want to do. You could either pinch or you can go back and just slide like you usually do. Another thing with pinch to unlock, you can choose to have sound with it under the settings. You just go to your settings and go to pinch to unlock. With sound, without sound, you have an option. With the sound, it just makes a little noise. Without, obviously, it makes no noise, so it's really up to you, but it does give that option. The second tweak I'm going to be talking about is called Now Now. Basically what it is, is it's an alternative to Siri. So if you have an older device that does not have Siri, this will work perfectly. It, it runs through Google and you just ask it any kind of question like Siri does and it answers it. Or if you just want a different kind of style, if you like Siri and you want to do something else just to mess around. Basically the settings are you pick how you want it to open. I did triple tap so we'll do a little demo and show you how it works. So. What time is it in Los Angeles, California? You can see how it read it right there, and there you go, it shows perfectly. We'll ask it one more question. What time is it in Honolulu, Hawaii? There you go, it works perfectly, and it's just simple and great. Like I said, the only settings under now now is the activation method. You can do, you could shake your device to uh, make it pop up or you could do a bunch of these things. So if you download it, you have a bunch of options how you want it to pop up. Very simple. Uh, just click however you want and then respring and you're good to go. Third tweak I will be talking about is called icon bounce. Basically what it is is it just makes your icons bounce. It's super simple. Under the settings all you have is enable or disable and then you're ready to go and you could see they bounce. It's very simple but it just adds some coolness uh, to your home screen. Just a little different and it's I thought it was really cool and worth to put in the video. The next tweak I'll be talking about is called multi-story now what it does is it adds another layer to uh, when you usually click the double home button so we'll do that real quick you can see here usually it's one line and now it's two so you can fit more apps and it just makes it and works better with your control where you could do sound music uh, skip play fast forward everything like that and your brightness uh, it's just easier looks better and it this is how it should be uh, it's just really easy and I like it a lot so that is multi-story Last but not least is called Pod Control. Now what this is is it adds four apps to your home screen uh, or your screen wherever you can put it in a folder if you want, which is what I'll do after this video. But for the sake of this video, I did want to keep them like this in a line. Basically what it does is it helps you with your music. You do have your previous, you do have your play pause, you do have your next, and you do have your like information. So if you're playing a song and you want the information about it, just click that button right there and you're good to go. What I really like about this app is it's so simple. You just skip back or play and pause and you're good to go you don't have to click the double thing and go there it's just on your home screen it's an app and it just works great all right well thanks kyle for letting us know your favorite tweaks for your ipad and that's actually going to wrap up this video guys as always go ahead and hit that like button if you like this video and also 
Let us know in the comment section below and also with a thumbs up and a like. Thumbs up slash like, same thing. If you want a top paid version of this, top paid city tweaks or even some more maybe weekly top five free city tweaks and things like that every week or something. And also your favorite tweaks, paid or free, let me know in the comment section below. There's plenty of other cool free city tweaks and also there are many paid city tweaks that I have on my device that I'm a huge fan of. But I want to make this video a free city tweak for all of you guys that wanted the free ones. So in a future video, I will feature a top paid city tweaks video, my favorite ones. So uh, yeah, anyways guys, go ahead and follow me on Facebook and on Twitter for future updates. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And also go ahead and subscribe to Kyle from Kyle's Tech. He does similar videos to what I do, reviews on products and also city tweaks and jailbreaks and all that good stuff. So go ahead and subscribe to his channel. And like I said, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're new to the channel. Anyways, guys, as always, thanks a lot for watching and I will catch you all on the next one. All right. Peace.